hello students welcome to fourth lecture of polymers so in last lecture we discussed about copolymerization reaction and natural rubber and its work vulcanization in this lecture we will discuss about synthetic rubbers molecular mass of polymers biodegradable polymers and the commercial importance of polymers synthetic rubber is like vulcanized rubber so just like vulcanized rubber it has comparatively more resistivity more strength than normal uh, natural rubber we can stretch it to twice of its length and when we release the force it will obtain its initial shape again generally this type of synthetic rubbers are either homopolymer of 1,3 butadiene uh, derivatives or copolymers of 1,3 butadiene or its derivative with another unsaturated unsatur uh, polymers some of them are already discussed earlier and uh, we will discuss uh, two of them in next point so let us discuss about preparation of synthetic rubber so first of all first is neoprene so neoprene or polychloroprene is uh, formed by free radical polymerization of chloroprene so here we have structure of chloroprene and uh, we have a mistake in name of uh, uh, chloroprene so as we can see in its IUPAC name 13 is mentioned twice so you can erase any one of it if it is mentioned in uh, your textbook just uh, like this then uh, cancel out one of these two that means either we call it 2 chloro 13 buta dine or we will call it 2 chloro buta 13 dine okay it is by mistake it is mentioned twice here so here we have monomer of 2 chloro buta 13 dine and uh, in first step rearrangement of bonds will take place that means this double bond will shift here okay that means both of these will shift the double bond as mentioned previously and then neoprene will obtain neoprene monomer will obtain and multiple or a large number of this type of neoprene molecules will give us uh, polychloroprene so it has superior resistance to vegetable and mineral oils and uh, it is used for manufacturing conveyor belt gaskets and hoses next one is buna n we already discussed about buna s uh, which was the polymer of uh, 1 3 butadiene and styrene and uh, this is the polymer of 1,3-butadiene and acrylonitrile so same type of rearrangement will take place in 1,3-butadiene uh, initially bond double bond was between 1 and 2 3 and 4 it will shift between 2 and 3 acrylonitrile will break its double bond and then copolymerization will occur so again same type of properties it is resistant to action of petrol lubricant oils and organic solvents so that's why we can use it as a oil seals and tank linings etc so let us move on our next point molecular mass of polymers so polymers do not have fixed molecular masses because their molecular masses depends on the length of chains as for example let us assume we are preparing polythene so we have two students doing the same practical that means preparation of polythene so let us assume first student uses 100 moles of monomers ethene ch2 double bond ch2 and uh, it is producing successfully it produces polythene but the uh, second student as a initial starting material it uses 200 moles of polyth uh, sorry ethene molecules and it is producing the same polythene successfully now what is difference here in student a its polythene contains equals to 100 moles of repeating unit while for student B it has 200 moles equals of repeating unit of polythene both of them are exactly the same material but with different molecular masses so this is the problem with the molecular mass calculation 
of polymer it do not have fixed molecular mass it is variable you cannot give it a perfect number just like water molecule or uh, ethene uh, molecule or any other molecules we regularly uses so because of different type of lens certain polymeric chains will be comparatively shorter than other chains that's why we will use average method to represent molecular mass of polymers so for information purpose these are some equations for the molecular weights of polymer so first equation represents mn that means it represents number average second mw represents weight average equation and third equation pd represents polydispersity index and the uh, terms used in it are mentioned here okay and this symbol summation represents summation of all the uh, different type of values so that means <coughs> growth of the polymer chain during their synthesis depends upon the availability of monomers in the reaction mixture that means if you are using more quantity of uh, reactant mixture then you will get larger molecular mass containing chains and if you are using less material then you will get lower molecular mass containing chains that's why it is a variable figure and uh, we have to use average of molecular masses of chains okay so that's why it is always expressed as an average okay so we will represent average molecular masses only and we can find this average molecular masses with practical methods that means some physical or some chemical methods you cannot directly find molecular mass average molecular mass of polymers you have to do some practicals first now let us move on next point biodegradable polymer so as we know right now highest pollutant effect is observed from plastics plastics are almost non biodegradable or it takes a very very long time to degrade itself if you throw a plastic bottle and uh, uh, then it will take 1000 years to degrade itself that means polymers are quite resistant to the environmental degradation and uh, that's why it will accumulation uh, accumulate itself and solid waste will increase okay so this solid waste causes acute environmental problems and remain undegraded for quite a long time we are talking in years okay so in view of a general awareness the concern of the problem created by the polymeric solid waste certain new biodegradable synthetic polymers have been designed and developed these polymers contains functional group similar to the functional group present in biopolymers so aliphatic polyesters are one of the important classes of the biodegradable polymer and some important examples are mentioned below so let us discuss it so first one is poly beta hydroxy butyrate co beta hydroxy valerate or phpv uh, it is co polymer of 3 hydroxy butanoic acid and 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid in short form phpv so it is used for packing orthopedic devices and controlled release of drug that means uh, we can use them as a box of medicine and uh, it will release the medicine as per the requirement so phbv undergoes bacterial degradation in environment that means it is biodegradable example uh, reaction is mentioned we have 3 hydroxy butanoic acid and 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid and uh, it will link with each other using oh group and cooh group okay as mentioned here phbv next is nylon 2 nylon 6 so as the name suggests it will have two carbon membered ring and six carbon membered ring separated by nitrogen so it is alternating polyamide copolymer of glycine and amino caproic acid and it's biodegradable so here one simple task is given to you write the structure of this copolymer it is comparatively easy and uh, both of the monomeric units are mentioned here and last point of our unit is polymers of commercial importance so 
Besides the polymers are already discussed, some other commercially important polymers along with their structures and uses are given in the table mentioned below. So let us quickly observe the table mentioned here. So we have polypropene as a monomer we have propene structure is mentioned and uses are also mentioned. So it is comparatively easy table to learn so no need to explain it in detail. If you have any confusing reg uh, regarding to this table then you can ask 